Hello, and welcome to Toshiba. In our series of how-to videos designed to showcase some of the features and capabilities of our newest series of MFPs, this video will address one of the new features available on Toshiba's hybrid MFP that allows printing in both standard black and white and Toshiba's unique erasable blue toner. Today, we're going to show you how to switch your print output from black and white to erasable blue and vice versa. In addition, you can also reprint a previous print job. This feature requires that the optional multi-station print feature be enabled. First, we'll start by accessing the print driver. Within the print driver, you'll see that you can select erasable blue or black. Either mode can be set as the default. For this demonstration, we're going to print in erasable blue. To be able to change the toner mode, we need to use the multi-station print feature in the driver. After selecting multi-station print, select OK and then OK again. At the MFP, select the print icon. After logging in, select multi-station print from the job type list. Select your print job and select settings. You'll notice that in settings, the print job is set to erasable blue. But let's say that the document is one that will be distributed outside the company, such as a report or contract. We decide we want to change the document to black. By going into toner mode, we can change the output to black. Next, select print. We'll see that our job printed using black toner. Changing the toner mode can also be applied when reprinting a job using the same steps. Not only can you change the toner mode, but you can also modify the number of sets and finishing settings. Toner mode change allows the user to change the toner mode at the MFP. This enables the user to switch from one toner mode to the other on the fly. This is helpful when the user decides that the correct toner mode was not selected on the original print job. This encourages users to use the erasable blue toner mode and eliminate having to resend the print job. We hope you found this how-to video informative. It's part of the comprehensive series that's available online. Thanks for viewing.